Mm. So what happens next? Well, you wouldn't put the kettle on, would you? I'm gasping for a brew. Mm. If that's what you want. I'll show you what I want. When you tell me where you want it. In here. On the sofa. In bed. It's up to you. Well, let's just start here and um, see how far we get. Huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's so much garlic. Mm. I don't suppose anyone will be snogging me tonight. Mm. I don't suppose anyone will snog me ever again. Don't. No, Moira. I'm fine, really. I need your dinner. Yeah, you need your carbs to soak up all that booze. No, I'll have it later. Mum, you need to eat. Impossible not to under my roof. All else fails, I'll just feed you butter biscuits in your sleep. Is that what you want? Mm. Better get to work. We'll meet you down there. Taking you for a drink. Oh, no, the last thing I want is to see your dad drooling all over Charles. I'll just bring this up again. Yeah, and the sight of you looking gorgeous might just show him what he's missing. <sighs> Don't you think I've humiliated myself enough for one week? Listen, I'll do a recce, all right, and I'll text you the coast clear. Uh, right. Thanks, Marla. Listen, love, I know you mean well, but I can't just turn up. I rang in sick, remember? Yeah, we can explain. Diane knows what you're going through. Yeah, she might. To everyone else, I'm just another notch on Keen Dingle's bedpost. No, you're not. Now, come on, eat your dinner and then go put <sighs> some lipstick on. Taking you for a drink. God, you want me to beg or what? Or what? Because if we step on this thing much longer, my back won't be up to heading to bed. Well, that's where you want to go, is it? You're determined to make me beg, aren't you? Of course not. Come here. Oh, at last. <laughs> Get away, Batman. <laughs> mush, mush! Go! So, go on. I don't mind doing a few extra hours, but what is so desperate that Chaz has had to rush off? She had an appointment. An urgent appointment. With a tall, dark farmer in a lumberjack shirt. Do you know what? I can't believe that Chaz has gone off with him. If I were Moira, I'd be pulling her nails out one by one. We all make mistakes. What we have to do now is pick up the pieces. So I was to point out this was all going to end in tears for everyone concerned. You wouldn't find anyone disagreeing with you. Mm. I always wanted to know what was rippling underneath there. <gasps> And what's the verdict? Seven. Is that all? Mm, maybe an eight. That's oh, oh, definitely a ten and a half. Get down. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Listen, thanks for covering for me. Anytime. Mortified, Diane. Drank a little bit too much last night. I'll, I'll make up the hours. When you're ready. Not before. Oh, it's going to take time, love. Especially with Sam that hoodie. Again, Pearl. How's it going, Mum? I'm not brilliant, but I'll live. You look really rough. Thanks. I, I meant upset, rough, yeah. not. I know. Yeah, we're back at work tomorrow, won't you, Mum? Well, I'm not doing myself any favours lying around the house, am I? You've got to stay positive. Even though he hasn't wasted time moving on, has he? Like a rat up a flipping drain pipe. We don't know that for sure, do we, ladies? Uh, well, you said he was up, up there. against it. Up against it. When you're up against it, you make bad decisions. Well, I thought it was just me. Well, I don't think he's going to go through with the divorce anyway. Yeah, it's not over yet. Just talk. I mean, he hasn't even seen a solicitor yet. Exactly. It's going to take him ages and it's, it's going to cost him a fortune. And we know how he hates spending money. Come on, this goes way beyond money. He's made up his mind. Oh, shame. I made such a handsome couple. I am sorry, love. It's not right the way he's treated you. It's horrible. What can I get you, Brenda? Oh, allowed to drive out wine, please. Well, have a seat and I'll bring it over. They were in here earlier, whispering to each other, and then they went in the back room. They're through there, together. No, they're not. Chaz left a while ago. 
With him? She was on her own when she left. I'm sorry, love. I'm sure there's nothing going on. Oh, you've got a broader mind than I have. What I just saw your husband doing wasn't nothing. And what was that? Well, look, look, I'm not saying that she's she's not got a heart of gold, but she's hardly what you'd call a classy woman, is she? Come on, Mum. You mean Chaz? Look, you've got my deepest sympathies. It's bad enough he's dumped you without him fondling another woman in his car in the street. Oh, shameless he is, and as for her... What... Cheers for that, Brenda. So much for keeping her in the dark, then, eh? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, so you keep saying. Not to self, Chaz. Next time you try sleeping with an almost married man, don't do it in his wife's bed. It's not that I didn't want to. Yeah, but you don't, and you won't. I get it. It's not personal. You do know that, don't you? Of course it isn't. Happens to me all the time. You won't mind if I take my wine, will you? Go ahead. I'm gonna need it. Why are you chucking plates and screaming at me? Why are you being so reasonable? Because even I can see that I'm flogging a dead horse. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> How many times have I heard that before? But usually it's the morning after. It's true. Of course it's me. If it wasn't, if you could have bought yourself to touch me, we'd still be in there having the time of our lives. You know what, John? Next time you want therapy, pay a professional. I think it's about time you took me home, don't you? No wonder he told Chad about the divorce before you. Well, as far as charter planes go, it seemed to do the trick. He'll be in a pub with her right now. Oh, I don't get it. Why is he seeing her? What do you think, Adam? Look, for what it's worth, if it came down to it, I'd rather have you than her. Well, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Uh, I do. Thanks, Alex. I could flame and kill him! You think that's helpful, do you? Look, there'll be none of that. This is between me and your dad. Yeah, and Chaz. I can hardly claim the moral high ground, can I? I made my choice. No, he's made his. Well, thank you for a lovely afternoon. For what it's worth, I'm really sorry. Not nearly as much as I am. And for what it's worth, I really liked you. And I really like you. It's just... It's just, I wish she deserved you, because if I'd ever had a fella who loves me as much as you love her, I'd never have chucked it all away. Why do some girls have all the luck, eh? If you want her, then you go out there and you get her. Right, come on, we need to get off. We promised Dad we'd do that evening feed. Or he'd never have let us both go into town together. Then why aren't you there? Because we had to park up the quarry on the way, didn't we, so we could pick up later. And we missed the bollocks we were supposed to buy. Exactly, so we're probably in line for a good old lecture. Oh, God. Don't tell me your dad knew you were going to be at auction all day. Yeah, why? And you told him that you'd be with me and Hannah's at college. God, you think your dad can't be that crazy? No, he wouldn't, would he? He will if he thinks it's going to hurt me. He's not just seeing Chaz. He's taken her home. Of course he hasn't. Yeah, come on, Mum. He won't do that to you. Well, she was hard faced enough to go with him. No, I don't believe it. No, Mum. Mum, Mum, Mum. All right, just chill. I'm going to sort this out. There's nothing to sort out. Not anymore. I need to face it. I've lost him. And this is your dad's way of showing me that I'm never going to get him back. Oh, Mum. No, I've cried in front of you a lot once too often. Now, please, leave me alone. You didn't stay for coffee, then? What? I don't suppose you'd expect that kind of treatment when you charge by the hour. What did you just say? You heard me. I don't think I did. Well, only a whore would sleep with another woman's husband in another woman's bed. Oh, like you did with our cane. You know what? If it was down to me, I wouldn't have gone for that colour scheme. Right. <sighs> now, some people would say that I deserve that. But you touch me again and I'm going to knock you into the middle of next week. Why him? Why Cain? And look what it done to me. My life is over. My marriage is dead. 
And you think that quick one with your brother was worth all of that? I had a slept with John. In a heartbeat. But he couldn't. And I don't do second best. I never have done. And I definitely don't sleep with blokes that are in love with somebody else. John. We'll fool him. W with me? What? And he said that to you? Trust me, love. He didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs>